Hey friends, welcome to Chime Coaching. Rob here. Got another fun video with some University of Texas Arlington students. In this video, we're going to talk about jobs and how some majors or branches are really good at easy to get jobs in America and how some streams or focuses, some different departments are actually hard to get jobs. And they're going to share some tips to help you get jobs here in America. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vishwajit. I'm from Mumbai. I completed my master's in mechanical engineering with a specialization in manufacturing. Hi guys, I'm Pooja and I'm here as a fall 2018 student and my major is construction management. Awesome. And I'm I, from Bangalore. Oh yeah, great city is Mumbai and Bangalore. Love them both. Um, and UTA is especially known for its engineering programs. Yes. Lots of international students come here, so these guys have some great thoughts. Now let's talk about um, job scopes for different majors. Yep. Um, for you guys, for what you studied, and then some other ones, you said that some are very easy at getting jobs, CPT and OPT in America, and some are more difficult. Please share about that. Yeah, I guess let's go ahead with the difficult part first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I graduated from mechanical engineering major. I would say for mechanical and for industrial engineering it would be a bit difficult as compared to other other majors like computer science and construction management. The amount of applications you have to put in, the time you have to spend on developing your resume, the time you have to spend on developing your own personality and your own skills. Mm -hmm. So a lot, lot goes into that especially when it comes to finding full-time jobs. Internships can be easier as compared to full-time jobs, but as I said, a, a lot goes into it. Hmm. You can tell about construction management and civil. Yeah, so as he mentioned, it's very difficult to get into for mechanical. It's the opposite side for construction management people. So it's that difficult and it's that easy. All you need is you have a lot of opportunities here for construction management and Texas is mm -hmm. a very good place for construction management people. So it is known, we have many companies here, internship. I don't say that it's just easy, you just have to work hard for that as well. So what I suggest is you have a good industrial experience before, you'll have a good future here. So I want you to study on what is required, the requirements in India for getting a job and requirements in US for getting a job is totally different. So get, get through that, study on that and you'll be good. What are some of the key differences? The key differences are the softwares they use back in India and the softwares they use here. Hmm. So it's the same subject we're going to study but they use different softwares in uh, US people use different softwares. So Just what softwares do they need to get familiar with here in America? Uh, okay, so um, in India, there's a software called AutoCAD. It's uh -huh. like, it's a basic software mm -hmm. for any civil engineers yeah. to work on. They do use it in US, but they have, they categorize, the, we do everything on AutoCAD in India, but here there are different sectors in the company when you get in. So mm -hmm. probably estimation and scheduling has a different software but it's not the same what we use in India. Okay. What are maybe the most several popular majors for international students here at UT Arlington? Mechanical engineering to start with, computer science, industrial engineering has been recently getting a lot of attention, mm -hmm. engineering management and of course anything related to civil engineering. Okay. So be it construction management, construction engineering management, structural Structural, structural and geotechnical transportation. Yeah. Transportation engineering. So these are some famous I mean and you even get jobs comparatively easier in okay. those in those streams as compared to other uh, okay. other streams. So of the popular streams here at UTA, which ones are easier to get jobs and which ones are more difficult? How would you compare them? So as I already mentioned, uh -huh. it's the mechanical and uh, construction management are the extreme ends. Okay. So construction management, it's easy and you have a lot of opportunities, but mechanical, mm -hmm. you have to put a lot of effort for that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like that's a thing in UTA. I believe when mechanical and industrial engineers come from India, most of them have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering okay. or maybe packaging or similar field. Uh -huh. What happens is they lack critical skills. Hmm. So the first one to be, you need to sell yourself hmm. to get a job. So what happens is you need to convince 
convince the person the hiring manager to get a job then you need to have the core skills hmm. at least it was my experience that if you come to us with just some basic skills and hmm. a bachelor's degree you will get an uh, get a easy job which is complete myth and it is not true and then students find it hard to find jobs and they start blaming the major which is totally wrong okay what happens is we are lacking skills which is something we have to agree there are skill not just engineering skills there are management skills and there are organizational skills as well which you have to have on your resume if you don't have it in your resume you can always do free internships okay you can do some research work with your professors at your universities mm-hmm. try to, i would say try to fill your resume as much as possible hmm. and if possible get some experience from india hmm. some work experience yeah, first yeah some work, yeah. work experience first then come to us don't come to to the states just you know consider yeah and taking it granted that once you just complete your masters you will get a job yeah it's not yeah. a guarantee yeah, yeah it's not a guarantee you mm-hmm. need some skills like because see, there there are a few software and few skills in basic bachelor of mechanical engineering like there is a fm there is solid works there is autocad mm-hmm. and that is something every student would know mm-hmm. so now you are in a pool of more than 1000 student uh, so you are competing with lot of students with the same the same skills so mm-hmm. you need something else you need something different in your resume to show off that you are a better better candidate for that job it's all about standing yeah. out and we've talked about this in other videos at shine coaching yeah. is it's not just your technical skills yeah. but it's about standing, standing out, out. Yes. um there's some so managerial skills, skills some mm-hmm. organizational skills people skills yeah people mm-hmm. skills yeah you need that a lot mm-hmm. awesome and one of the best ways to learn people skills and especially in America is from Americans. Yeah, practicing yeah. talking to Americans yes. with professors, you know, breaking out of your bubble and yeah. meeting and talking to other people and like he said, selling yourself. Yeah. Yes. And when there's so much competition, it's not about following the crowd but being different and that's how you get jobs here in America. Right. You you once you try to network, you try to mix mm-hmm. with everyone, you uh, you try to make new contacts, you it mm-hmm. becomes easier, you get to know new things. Mm-hmm. maybe someone might even recommend you for a job position it's not like if one person recommends you you will get that job but mm-hmm. it's like it will somehow help you developing your resume developing your own personality your own yeah. skills that's awesome yeah so even though some majors or streams in america have it easier than others of getting jobs these tips are going to help anybody yes. get a job search thank you so much guys do you have any other final tip you want to share or is that have we covered it all Just work hard. Have work fun. hard. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Yes. Have fun in America. Yeah. It's have more fun. than just the grades yeah. and the marks. You guys have had fun, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Yeah. It's, like, it's a gr- bigger experience than yeah. that. And these guys are also part of the IMS, right? Yes. What does IMS stand for? IMS is Indian Maverick Society. Mm-hmm. So it's an association of uh, Indian students. So we get into touch with Indian students. We help them coming here, and we have mentor mentee programs for them. It's just that. to make them comfortable once they are here yeah. the first time when somebody travels from india to us it's a different environment different things all over so we just help them to get in yeah, it's um, a family yeah. yeah family away from india everything you know, once you come to us we we help you with every single thing to our capability be it choosing subjects mm. be it your housing be it celebrating festivals every single thing we are your family here we are here for you and we will be here till you graduate that's awesome we'll have a link in the description about how you guys can get connected with the IMS i've met some of them at the airport i've been picking up students and they do great stuff so be sure to get connected friends be sure to take the advice from vishwajit and pooja this is very helpful connect with them and others at the IMS the Indian Maverick Society again links down below and thanks so much for joining us you guys your advice was really helpful and thanks for joining us at Chime Coaching We'll see you guys next time.